Hello, hello, hello everyone. Sorry for using the voice note. The reason why I chose voice note is to avoid repeating myself or wasting your time. Okay, in the previous video, uh, we spoke about Korean student visa. Now we said Korean student visa, we have the D2 and the D4. If you haven't watched the video, you can return to the video and watch it again. Or if you're finding it difficult to watch the video, is the link is in my description, the description below. The description below this video. Okay, so now we are going to apply for D4. D4 and the school we are going for is called Chawan National University. Chawan National University was the school I attended in South Korea. Now, why do we have to go for this school? Not because I went to the school, but because it's one of the cheapest schools, if not the cheapest in South South Korea. Okay, so let's start. 2021-2022 application guideline for the regular Korean language course. Now, the schedule, it has four schedules spring summer fall winter okay like spring summer fall winter semester and when i applied for this school i did not get any interview so interview or examination is not really necessary it depends on students that want that wants to start the second grade, the third grade, or the fourth grade. If you are a freshman, like if you are starting from the first grade, you don't. They don't give you any exam. You, there is no exam to take, okay, or no interview. But if you are starting from the second grade, now in Korean Language Institute, they have from the first grade to the sixth grade. This grade depends on the level of your Korean, how you can speak, understand, read, write, and all that. Now, the next one is the payment of registration. Now, this form or this file was sent to me by my school, okay? And I will skip so many, so many things because most of them is payment, 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 payment. We all know that schools all over the world, uh, school is one of the ways government used to build their economy, okay? But... Coming to Korea to study, you will benefit a lot. You will benefit a lot from it. Now, the next one is Korean language training course, which I told you the spring, summer, fall, and winter. 10 weeks each for spring, 10 weeks, summer, 10 weeks, you know, and all that. Now, the total hours for each semester is 200 hours. Class hour, four hours per day, five days per week. From Monday to Friday. Now, if you are to attend classes from 8 to 12 or maybe from 9 to 1, the other time or the rest of the time, you have you have enough time to work. Yes, you have enough time to work and make money, to do some part-time job and make money. Uh, the number of students is 15 students in a class divided into classes after initial placement tests which is not necessary for freshmen, okay? Subject, the vocabulary, basic conversation, practice, Korean grammar, speaking, reading, and writing. Now, remember, I told you that this class has four hours per day, five days per week, but they are really serious. Now, Korean study or Korean pattern of education is is a type of education that they are really fast when studying. For instance, I'm from Nigeria and for Koreans, how would I put it? If it takes Koreans a week to teach you something, it might take uh, my country a month to teach you that same that same uh, content. I don't know if you understand. So four hours a day, Within that four hours, they'll teach you a lot of things, okay? And after that, you have exam to take. 
which is the midterm exam 30%, final exam 50%, quiz 10%, attendance 10%. Now, the attendance is very important for anyone studying in Korea, both the Korean language, the master degree, the bachelor degree, and every other thing, okay? If you miss school three days in a semester, if you miss school three times in a semester, you're having F mark. You will fail that course. Even if you pass the whole course, even if you have A, 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 like you had like 100 over 100 in that course, 100%, you will definitely fail the mark. So attendance is very important here. Attendance is very important. Now let's go to the next stuff. The tuition fee for Chawan National University, which is one of the cheapest universities, is 2.4 million Korean won. won. 2.4 million Korean won for two semesters, that is for 20 weeks. In a year, you have to pay 4.8 million Korean won, which is very cheap. Some schools pay 4.8 each semester that's true some school pays more than that for two semester but chawa national university is one of the cheapest okay now the textbook textbook okay is 64000 korean won 2.4 million korean won is about 2100 us dollars or 2200 us dollars in Yes, yes, 2,200 US dollars or 2,100. Now, the dormitory is not mandatory. If you want to live in the dormitory, you have to pay 1 million US, uh, 1 million Korean won. That is 1,000 US dollars for 16 weeks, for four weeks. That is for four, uh, sorry, 16 weeks for four months. Okay. And the pickup is also optional. Pickup is from airport to the school. You have to pay 70,000 Korean won, $70, $70. Okay, and the next one here is the bank where you have to make this payment and all that. But the truth is you are not allowed to pay this stuff before acceptance. The school have to accept you first before you pay this stuff. And after paying the stuff, the school will give you a receipt, okay, where the where you can take this receipt and you can take this receipt and go to and go to the embassy to apply for visa. Take the receipt, go to embassy and apply for visa. Now the next thing here is dormitory, the meal plan and all that, which is not necessary, is only important after getting your visa. Okay, the next one is visa issuance. How to apply, what you need, the document you need to prepare for application of visa. Okay, now remember what you're applying for is D4 visa. In case you go to the embassy and the embassy decide to interview you, you need to understand what D4 is and the advantage how long you stay in korea what your plan will be because when i went to apply for visa i didn't i didn't know that it's d4 okay i was very lucky you know it was great i'm a christian i was very lucky and i was interviewed the 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 man interviewed me and asked me some questions and i and i told the man that after studying i will return to my country that was what gave me the visa okay so you should prepare yourself for interview because they can ask you anything that's an interview for you now required documents the document you need for application of visa is a copy of your passport international passport application form that should be visa application form a letter of self-introduction resume Agreement to collect and use personal information. Your photo. Your photo ID. Diploma of graduation. High school uh, or college. The list is high school. Okay. University. The diploma of your graduation. And it has to be authentic. For some countries, you don't need to apply for its authenticity 
authentici authenticity. Okay, sorry for the mistake. But for West Africa, you have to apply for it. You have to go to the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and all that. So for some African countries. Okay. Now the next one you have you need to prepare. The next thing you need to prepare is transcript. Sorry for the mistake. The video is taking a very long time. Um, and I'm getting nervous more and more. Okay, thank you for understanding. The next thing you need to prepare is transcript, an original copy. Okay, the diploma of graduation, an original copy too, all in English. Application or applicant should submit the verification document of academic record. Apostle certif certificate. Certificate of your education background certified by Korean embassy in your country or your country's consul embassy in Korea. This is this is just a very simple English. When you get your when you get your diploma of graduation, the highest education level or educational level you had, when you get it, and when you get its authentic certificate. You will take the certificate to the embassy, to South Korea embassy in your country. Now, you are not applying for visa. This is the first thing you have to do before applying visa or before the application of the Korean visa. Okay, You take this certificate to your country, uh, to the embassy, to the embassy of South Korea in your country. And the embassy will have to... I don't know I don't know what they do or how they do it okay but you just submit it and you go home now they'll have to verify and check if this is true or if it's real real or fake because most people create fake results you know and all that the next thing you have to do is copy of ID card now your ID card can be your driver's license national ID card anything you know and added an, an identity card. Okay. The next one is certificate of family relationship. Family relationship is that is necessary only if you have a sponsor. If you are sponsoring yourself, you don't need that. But if you have a sponsor, maybe in, in, in your country or in South Korea, you have to submit a certificate. To show that you are related to that person. Certificate of employment of parents. That is, if your parents, if if your parent is uh uh your sponsor, okay, or whosoever that is your sponsor need to submit a certificate of employment or certificate of business you know some people can be business owners some people can be employees some people can be employer some people can own a company so you have to submit a certificate to prove that this is where i get my money or this is the source of my income now the next one is if you have a referee in korea a copy of referee identification is required Referring means if I'm the one to refer you, for instance, if I'm the one to refer you, if I'm the one to bring you here in South Korea, which I don't do that, sorry. Because most people, when they come here, they just uh, they just leave, you know, ab uh, abandon everything and run away. So I don't do that. I only give you the information you need to know. Okay. And if you want this file, you can inform me and i will send you the file right away free of charge okay the next one is a copy of this blah 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 okay it's not necessary a certificate showing a bank balance of at least ten thousand usd for six months okay a certificate showing a bank balance under the name of the applicant or your sponsor which i have said before ten thousand us dollars now for Chinese, copy of Hu Kobu, which I don't know what that means, but it's only for Chinese people. Now the next one is, depending on the nationality and qualification of applicant, the number of related, related documents can be changed for admission and issuing a visa. 
okay now this okay okay then for if you are looking for someone to refer you or someone who will be responsible for your stay in south korea is it must be or he must be a korean not a foreigner okay in case of paying tuition under the name of the person your referring person applicant should be should call the international affairs to confirm confirm payment okay which this is not really necessary now this is the stuff you need and you also need to prepare for student insurance student insurance you pay 50 dollar every month i've been paying for student insurance for more than one year i've never used that okay for online application visit chanwan national university click it on google and you find that chanwan national university if you don't know how to spell it check the description below and you see how it's spelled chanwan national university and if you want me to fill the form on your behalf here if you don't want to apply online if you want me to fill the form and apply ap apply it directly to the school uh you can feel free to contact me because the next thing here is form 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 application form uh self introduction curriculum vitae your cv agreement to collect sorry 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 agreement to collect and use personal information shinwon bojunson what is shinwon bojunson shinwon bojunson is it's just a personal information personal information form confirmation of remittance to confirm and that is it okay if you want to fill the form and if you want me to submit it directly to the school okay the school is like one hour or almost one hour away from where i stay you can send me a dm and i will do that for you but it's not free of charge that's the truth about it okay the most important thing is applying for the school going to the school you can call the school when you click chawan national university Okay, you, where you have to go is foreign affairs. Don't just go into the site. Don't go into the university website. Go to foreign affairs. And when you go to foreign affairs, you can click and ask necessary questions. Your questions, if you want to know more, or if you want to speak to the school directly, you can speak to them directly and ask your questions. They do speak English. They have someone who can speak english then you can if you want to apply directly to you can apply directly and if you want me to apply for you i can do that for you i will fill the form but going there is not free okay i won't go there free of charge and if there's any other information you want from the school you can let me know remember d4 is one of the easiest visa one of the easiest student visa you can get because the schools the school need students especially now that the covid-19 you know the economy and everything the 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 country wants to build or grow its economy so thank you for listening and thank you for watching if you have any question ask me and don't forget to subscribe to this channel in my next video i will make a video on how to apply for d2 D2, the D2 visa. Thank you.